somewhere within that anime that I was watching, somebody said something that I didn't understand. So I went back five seconds, enabled subtitles, and it was just an annoying task that I had to go through. And honestly, I don't think anybody should have to go through. So I'm going to build a shortcut for that. I can build a shortcut that will take back what is happening or whatever is playing a few seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, however many, we can predefine that and turn on subtitles and then turn off the subtitles instead of having to do all of this manually. Hopefully all of this will happen in the background and you don't have to interact with the application in any way, but we're going to try it. We're going to try to figure it out from the surface level. It sounds like an easy enough task. Let's get started the plus sign to create a new shortcut simple enough i'm going to rename it to say what did they just say just matching the color with the other shortcuts in my utilities folder well the first action we have to do is seek backwards so let's see if we can find something that does that so there's an action called seek are we going to go backwards by a certain amount of time in this case i'm going to select 20 seconds i think that should be sufficient and on the ipad because this is where i'll be running the whole thing so why not one of the ways to use it with any application or make it completely application agnostic is to use a feature called live transcript. So live transcript basically listens to whatever is happening on your screen and it's going to transcribe that as best as it can. So let's put in the transcript action. Live transcript, nope, live trans, oh, live captions. That's what it's called. Okay. So we'll turn that on and then we're going to wait and we wait for however many seconds we said we're going to go back by. So increase this to 20 seconds. Pro tip, you can hold the plus sign to move forward very quickly. All right, we're there. Okay, 20 seconds now. Now the next action is to turn off live captions. Simple enough, you want to go click duplicate, move it down under the 20 second wait and turn it back off. Simple enough of a shortcut. Now what we need to do is find a way to enable it automatically. One of the ways you can do it, especially on the iPad, is to put it in your dock. Go to the share icon, wherever it is. What did they say? You hold the icon, you click on share. All of you should already know this, but I'm still going to show you how to do this. Click on add to home screen, click add. Now this is on your home screen. So all you have to do is drag it onto your dock. I know this does not work with YouTube. For whatever reason, YouTube does not play well with iOS's ability to see forward or backwards. So we're just going to go online and see if we can find a video from Apple itself. Now I'm in full screen. Let's say Craig Federighi is saying something that I do not understand. I pull up my dock. I click on my shortcut. It will take it back a few seconds. And now you can see that live transcript has been enabled and it's going to wait for 20 seconds and turn it back off. So 20 seconds, it's longer than I thought it would be, to be honest. All right. The shortcut's still running. So that can tell you that it's waiting in the background and this should show up as, okay, the shortcut has completed and live transcript has been turned off. This does work and does the job. Uh, I know it doesn't work on YouTube, so it's a pain, but anywhere else you're watching something, this will definitely do the job. On the iPhone, I wouldn't use the dock methodology because you'll have to exit out of the video that you're watching. Instead, I would actually link it to the back tab functionality, which is available on most recent iPhones. Well, this is a very simple shortcut and I will leave a link to the shortcut in the description below if you don't want to build it to yourself. But yeah, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to watch more shortcuts related video, I will ask you to subscribe to my channel. Thanks everybody for watching. This is Geet.